Action. Hello again, I'm Mark from Lake Superior College here at the CAA, at the Center for Advanced Aviation in Duluth, Minnesota. Today we're talking about wood structures in aircraft and uh, we're going to do a quick little project that I do with my class uh, for AMT 1464, which is a uh, non-metallic structures and now we're kind of concentrating on wood. So the main little part of this project that we're going to talk about is, uh, is how, in relation to the grain, how certain ways uh, a piece of wood is stronger than other ways based on, based on the direction of the grain. So we're going to do a quick little experiment that shows uh, how the wood or why the wood is stronger in certain relations to the grain. The second part of the project is I'm going to show that wood structures and airplanes gain their strength from the glue um, and how when you have a glue joint, the glue joint in a wood uh, part of an aircraft becomes actually stronger than the wood itself. So the first part here, I'm looking at a piece, uh, the project says cut a four or five inch piece. I got a piece here that's probably more like six inches, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with that. So if I look at this piece of wood carefully, I can see here that the grain, I'm not going to show it, I'm kind of just drawing, my pen doesn't want to draw. Um, I do have another pen. A good aircraft mechanic always carries a sharpie with him. But you can see that the lines of grain go like that in this piece of wood. So I'm just going to draw the, line, the lines of the grain on that one. And I'm also going to take this other piece and do the same. Here, this one, um, we can see it really good right here. The lines of grain, you know, run like, run like that. So that's the lines of grain in that piece of wood. So what we're going to do, according to the project, the project says to clamp, clamp your piece into the vise here. I'm going to get it in there strong enough to hold it. If I wanted to, I can easily crush this balsa wood. We're just using balsa wood just to show how, uh, how it can break. So now you can see in this one, I have the lines of grain like that. You can kind of see if you look on this side, you can see where I drew them. So this one, I have the, the lines of grain uh, in that direction. So now I'm just going to hang uh, a little piece on here and I'm going to slowly add some weight. So we're going to see how much weight it takes for that to break. So there's a pound and I might have to hold it right here. There's a pound and it's still good. There's another pound, it's still good. So I'm going to take off one of these one pounders and put on a two pounder. So now we have three pounds on there. Four pounds. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, is it starting to bend yet? There's four pounds. There's five pounds. I can hear it cracking. There's five pounds. My guess is six pounds is going to be it might, I can hear it cracking, so it might crack here, but here's six pounds. Six pounds and it broke. And I knew it would break at some point, so. So now we're going to save this for a second part of the experiment. Now what I'm going to do is I got the second piece, and you can see I got the lines of grain. I drew the lines of grain. On the first one, I put it in like this. Now this one, I'm going to put it in kind of 90 degrees to those lines of grain. So if we make a hypothesis here, uh, we could probably just guess that it's going to probably hold, what is it, hold six pounds the first time? Um, this opposite way of the grain, it's probably going to hold more than six pounds. There's my piece, so now we got, I'll put a two pounder on there. And I'll put another two pounder on. So we got four pounds. Um, there's five pounds, I can hear it cracking already. Okay, so now, now my experiment backfired on me because it actually held less weight that way. And it could just be, could just be the, uh, this piece of wood, um, but, so my experiment did not work, but trust me, 
if uh, if anybody's watching this video and they go ahead and do this project as part of the class, I think you'll find as an average uh, that the wood, uh, when it goes perpendicular to the grain, will hold uh, more weight. So the second part of this project that we're going to do here is I'm going to figure out figure out how these pieces of wood go back together and I'm gonna glue them I'm gonna glue them back together and then we're gonna let them cure and then when we come back for part for the next part we'll uh, we'll try to break them again and we'll we'll see if they break at the glue joint or if they break somewhere else now again, this, uh, this project, this experiment is just to show um, to show how the to show how the wood is. We obviously wouldn't be using wood glue on an airplane. But for the purpose of our experiment here, this wood glue will work out just fine. So there's a piece right there. I kind of got it back. We'll let that glue, we'll let that glue set up. And then this one. Same thing here, I'm gonna add, add my glue in here and put my piece back together. So I can kind of let these dry here. We'll let them cure, we'll let them cure for a whole whole weekend here and then we'll see what happens. The next part, um, the next part of the project uh, has us uh, show again how the glue joint is stronger. So I'm going to take these four pieces here and I'm going to figure out which way the grain goes. And I'm going to put these two, that's a lot of glue right there. but. We just want to get about an inch, a little over an inch uh, overlap on there. And we'll glue those together. And this one, we're going to do the opposite way of the grain. We're going to do 90 degrees. So if you guys are doing this project uh, in class, you can kind of just get together and uh, have one group do the grain one way and another group do the grain another way. So now I got those curing. These, I'll clean these up a little bit. Uh, I'll put a clamp on there and let them cure. And then we'll come back and uh, we'll try to break them and we'll see if, as I surmise, that they'll break on the wood, not the actual glue joint, because the glue joint is actually stronger. So we're going to find out if that actually is true. Okay, I'm back, uh, as promised. When we left off, what we did is we glued, we broke the pieces um, to see where they would break based on the grain. Now we glued a couple of the broken pieces back together, like this one. Uh, we let them cure, we let them cure overnight, and now we're back at it. And now the object of what I want to show, and the main purpose of really doing this whole experiment, even though we might not get the wood to break exactly where we wanted it to, the object of this experiment is to show how a glued joint, whether it's here or like this one, actually becomes stronger than the wood itself. So I modified our, our vise a little bit just to kind of show. This is a piece. Um, this is a piece that um, that we broke last on the last portion of this video. 
and the, uh, the grain is going basically parallel to the floor. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to hang our weights on here. And I have um, a pen. And just to kind of show you, just to kind of show you, the uh, the glue joint basically is right here, kind of in that area. That's the glue joint. And if we do this, if we do this correctly, uh, my prediction is it'll it'll break somewhere somewhere out here, not necessarily on the glue joint. So we'll start adding weight, and we'll see what happens. There's a pound. Put a two pounder on here so we'll have a total of three pounds. It might not even hold three pounds. Here's another pound. So we have two pounds on there. There's three pounds. four pounds and I can hear it cracking so there's four pounds on there now I'm going to take off those two and add a two pounder so now there's four pounds on there this will be five pounds and it broke it actually did what I thought it should do um, if we well, it didn't. It broke really close to our glue joint, but it didn't break right at it. Uh, but it broke pretty close to it. So we have another one. Let's try the other one now with the grain uh, that's going basically this way. And our glue joint is there. Okay, so we'll start. I'm pretty sure this will hold at least two pounds. So there's a two pound weight on there. Here's another one pound. So that's three. That's four. And this one. This one you can actually see there's the glue joint right there and it broke it broke kind of close to it but you can see where it actually started breaking was near the glue joint and part of that is because I put the glue joint really close to the edge of my of my vise here um, so you can see that the glue joint is actually really strong now we have these other pieces uh, that we that we glued up these should be uh, hopefully a, a better example. So I'm going to do these in two different ways. First one I'm just going to set in here. Okay. So there's one pound. This is a two pounder, so now we'll have, probably won't even hold that much. This will be two pounds. Three pounds, it's gonna break when I let it go. I can hear it cracking. So there's three pounds on there. That's four, I thought for sure that was gonna break. It's gonna, it's, I can hear it cracking. So I'll take off a pound, and I'm gonna put on a two pounder. This will obviously make it break, but. So this one uh, did a really good job of proving uh, what I wanted to prove. Here we had just two pieces of wood that were glued together um, and it did not break there. Now again, where, where these tend to break is right at the edge uh, of the, 
of the vise. Um, but it just proves that the wood joint, the glue joint here, is actually stronger than, than just the wood. And that was kind of the object uh, of this project, was to kind of show how the grain, how the grain affects the wood and uh, how the glue joints are stronger. So for uh, the people that are in uh, LSC doing the project for the AMT course, uh, this will be uh, the first part of project one. Uh, you'll have to uh, in, in inspect some pieces of wood, some aircraft wood, and see which ones uh, pass and which ones fail inspection. But this is the first part of the project. Um, remember to uh, like this video and uh, ring the bell and subscribe to my channel and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Maybe one of these days we'll be able to do videos not under quarantine. Thank you.